back to change through pain. I am really excited about this video because I finally got some backgrounds, for my green screen to test out. So I am chilling on the beach by the palm tree with the ocean and the breeze, which I can feel it because I got my fan on, but you can't feel it. But just imagine you're there right now. And let me take a sip of my, look at that, that's cool how it reflects off of there. Let me take a sip of my beverage. All right, so right now is a really interesting time. And a lot of folks are in a state of anxiety. They're in a panic mode. The uncertainty, uh, the news is just filling your mind up with confusion, fear, frustration. And I want to share this message with you today. Uh, and I'm going to title this video, Reset, Refocus, Renew. So let me just read this and then let's have a conversation. And I'm going to give you some advice on things that you can do to help you through this time. Number one, sitting on a beach is not a bad idea. All right, so now that you're forced to pause from your chaotic, busy life where maybe your priorities are potentially mixed up, maybe you spend too much time working, maybe you neglect your family, uh, maybe you're not um, spending the quality time with your significant other, uh, whatever it may be, uh, your physical health, your mental health, your spiritual health, those things are all important. And so it's time to look within and discover what's most important. And some of the things would involve soul searching uh, through things such as journaling, uh, meditation, breath work, reading, uh, audiobooks, of course, yoga, learning to speak your truth, relationships, building relationships, improving relationships, maybe ending relationships, and spirituality, focus on your inner healing, gratitude, forgiveness, acceptance, releasing hurts and trauma, energy healing, and having empathy. So number one, you've got to take this opportunity. If you are in a place where you are not able to work, um, there's a lot of different things that may be going through your mind that are creating anxiety, fear, uh, frustration. So if you take this time, rather than fill your mind and your time with things such as watching movies, um, listening to music, um, music is fine, movies are fine, but instead of spend all of your time doing those things, replace some of the time spent on improving yourself. And this is a great opportunity for you to look within and do some soul searching and to spend some quality time with yourself, potentially spend quality time with your family members and have some good conversations. And you guys can learn together. Uh, number one for yourself, I would say journal. Journal out the things that you're concerned about, your fears, your worries, the anxieties, the uncertainties. Journal those things out, but actually journal a second page where you're journaling and providing some potential solutions and look on the bright side and what you can learn and things that you can do to improve your situation. Um, and outside of journaling, you can jump into meditation. And if you can access a beautiful beach like the one behind me and meditate there, that would be wonderful. But of course you can turn your music on, on say your streaming on your phone and you can search for a number of different uh, meditation uh, channels where you can listen to various sounds and frequencies that will help you to meditate. You can listen to rainstorm. You can listen to um, 
various frequencies, which I mentioned, and then there's certain songs um, as well that may help you with the meditation. I'm going to let my cat get up in the window. And breath work. Breath work is part of meditation. You can practice that as simple as belly to mouth breathing, meaning in your nose, out your mouth, but focus on only filling up your belly and not your lungs. And your lungs are gonna fill up a little bit, of course, but focus on just the rising of your belly. And then do that five times, nice deep breaths, and inhale the positive, the optimism, and exhale the anxiety, the fear, the worry, the sadness, uh, all those things. And be mindful of the thoughts that enter your head and observe them, but don't respond to them, don't react to them. And that's where you can journal those things out if you need to. And then of course you can communicate and share with your, your significant other or your boyfriend, girlfriend, whoever it is that's there with you, your children, uh, your grandparents, whatever it is, whoever's around you. And read, take this time to read, learn something new, uh, learn a language, um, get on YouTube and explore and learn something new, practice something new. Um, it, there's so much to do. And of course, yoga, that'll help uh, with your uh, body, your energy level, help you to calm yourself uh, through the breathing, through the stretching, and you'll feel better as well. And then uh, speaking your truth, just let it out but in a loving way with an open heart and with empathy, but you got to get that stuff out. You can't hold that stuff in. Uh, it's going to eat you up. And so you want to speak your truth and your spirituality through this process, explore um, things that you've been interested in. Now that you have this time, different religions, different healing practices, uh, masculine, feminine energies, uh, any of those things, explore those things uh, through podcasts, audiobooks, and YouTube videos, and just explore various blogs on the web. And then practice gratitude. Take this time, go around the table with your family during breakfast, during lunch, during dinner, and share what you're grateful for. Don't just do it once a year at Thanksgiving. Do it every single day and start this practice right now. If we're quarantined long enough, you can, you can make this a habit because 21 days makes a habit and then it becomes a lifestyle. And take this time to forgive. Release some of those childhood traumas, those hurts, those things that people did to you that you've been holding on to. Practice some guided meditations and work on releasing. And it's for you, it's for nobody else. And it's going to allow your heart to reopen and for you to really experience this present moment the way that it was meant to be experienced. And I promise you, you're gonna feel a lot better. I've been doing this uh, since last July. And then acceptance. Just accept the current situation, uh, but be optimistic and have gratitude and consider things that you can do each day to look on the bright side. And some of these things that I mentioned will help you do that. And then, just be empathetic. Everybody in this entire world practically is dealing with this right now. And there's a lot of conversations and comments happening on the internet. Don't get lost in that or caught up in that because it's really not gonna be helpful to you. You want to maintain an uplifted spirit, a positive energy, uh, good vibrations, and if you're on there all day on the social media, getting sucked into that and those arguments and the negative comments, well, that's who you're going to become. So stay off of those things uh, as much as possible. If you feel the need to comment, go ahead and do that and then just leave it be. Uh, but be as, as empathetic and understanding because everybody's going through something and we're all struggling uh, in various ways through this. So those are some things that I wanted to share today. Um, I hope this video brought you some value, uh, some ideas, some practical tips and tools that you can put 
into action right now today. Uh, so please give this a shot. I challenge you to do these things. Um, just keep an open mind, uh, stay optimistic, uh, stay positive, and we will get through this. We're gonna get through this. Uh, just do your best right now to stay focused in this present moment. Uh, eliminate the worry and the fear and the anxiety by doing that. Breathe, meditate, stretch, yoga, share your truth, speak your truth, communicate and bond with your family, love empathetically, have gratitude. And I promise you, each day will be that much better. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Everybody stay safe, stay healthy, stay blessed. Till next time.